Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. I wouldn't want you to miss it. Ah, <sighs> such a shame you couldn't save humanity. I was really rooting for you. Oh, you've come so far just to fail, Agent Cypher. <laughs> Some of your recently alive colleagues, I think. They're just dying to say hello. Oh. We could have been such a team, you and I, with my brains and your willingness to follow orders. Focus on the gun and pick it up. Those bullets aren't going to fire themselves. Isn't that child here? Looks like you've run out of bullets. And time. Nighty night, Agent Cypher. This time, you'll sleep for good. Good to have you back, kid. That must have been one hell of a hayride. You're clean, Agent Cypher. Duck got the better of us again, huh? Crazy bastard sure is wily. Let's get you dead and downloaded, see where we went wrong this time. Okay. No physical abnormalities? Well, that's a relief. TDNA still functioning within stable parameters. Well, as stable as it can be for a time-traveling genome. You're still your normal mutant self, Cypher. Damn it! Data's corrupted. Your visor must have been hit. We don't have the doc's location anymore. Sorry, Cypher. I know how hard you work to get us that. Cypher found it once. The kid'll find it again. I know. Just every time we throw you out there, the timeline has the potential to change forever. I just don't know how many times we can do this without... Well, this is totally uncharted territory. You can handle it, kid. Tough as a honey badger. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time I got cornered by a pack of those... Dad! Maybe we should leave the honey badger story until after we've saved the world? Right, right. Sorry, sweetheart. Dad! <laughs> Agent Rattler. Okay, first, let's get you fitted with a new visor. Here. I've updated this one with all the latest software. It even has UV shielding. Let's get you out there and back in the Z-Killing saddle. Take it easy out there. You're one of a kind, Cypher. I mean, I would say that you're irreplaceable, but I don't want your head to get so big you can't fit in the elevator. She blames herself for what Monday did to you. I keep telling her it's not her fault. Once she knew what he was up to, she grabbed you and reported the doc. Monday was arrested an hour later. He's never forgiven her for that. He took it rather... personally. So you can see why there's no room for failure. Maybe you should do some basic training, brush up your skills, see how you handle yourself. Maybe take a few minutes, review the intel, see if you can figure out what went wrong. You've probably heard that Badger story a thousand times, right? Let's review the plan. Target practice, then find Monday's lair. Just mind how you go out there, Cypher. Rattle her out. Welcome to the ranch, kid. We're the last unit standing since the dog fried the sea.
Head up, Dad. Sorry, Cypher. Dust off and keep heading down to the canyon. You'll need to cut off whatever's interfering with Big Bird's instruments. We'll try and get an aerial view. What the hell was that? We've got a hot LZ. I have a horrible feeling. Chin up, head down, Cypher. Rattle her out. I told my wife, we shouldn't go hunting. Check your fire! Head up, Dad. Sorry, Cypher. Dust off and keep heading down to the canyon. You'll need to cut off whatever's interfering with Big Bird's instruments. We'll try and get an aerial view. What the hell was that? We've got a hot LZ! I have a horrible feeling. Chin up, head down, Cypher. Rattle her out. That's the last time I listened to my wife. Psalms. Die. 
Shut it down and we'll pick you up. We've got bigger problems. I found out what's trying to swat us out of the sky. <laughs> 